Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you, family, for in Jesus' name. Wow. By the help of my senior colleague, the Holy Spirit, I bring us another world. I put down this title, it says, as we all have already seen, someone in power has made a bad decision about you. Someone in power, a man in authority, has made a bad decision against you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, Libado Shakade Barodia Shata. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It's a new day. The decision has been made. Praise Master Jesus. Decisions, laws, rules, and regulations are being set by men. And it can still be changed by men. Constitution are being put in place by men. And it can still be changed by men. God bless somebody. Stay with me from the beginning to the end for in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. This is a beautiful day. And I know this particular word is a word of deliverance in the life of somebody for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Bazi. I bring us prophetic word in daily basis. Please become part of this lovely family as you subscribe. You're liking and you're sharing our prophetic words. So the gospel of Jesus Christ might go viral. We are praying every day. My email is on this platform. You can send me a prayer point. You want to talk to me personally. I'll get to you for in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you, family. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This is actually what is happening. Praise Master Jesus. Yeah. This is actually what is happening. A decision is being made concerning you about a man in power and a man in authority. Hallelujah. One thing for sure with God, when I realized, when I came across this particular scripture, hallelujah, that the Bible says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against the rulers of wickedness in higher places. When I came across this scripture, and the scripture that the centurion, the Roman officer came to Jesus, said, my servant is sick. Go to my house. Come and pray. Jesus said, let's go. The man said, no. We don't need to waste time to go. When I came across some scriptures in the Bible, the Lord taught me a lot of things. Praise Master Jesus. So one. Imagine the Roman officer was a man in authority. Hallelujah. And when you look into the life of of the roman officer there is something i put down here the other day hallelujah i was teaching people the other day oh my god 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 help me help me help me help me in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah god bless you okay hallelujah okay the roman officer was operating in a dimension of of a power the roman officer has power jesus also had power so the roman officer was a military he was a soldier so he demonstrated his power before Jesus. By saying, he told Jesus, I have soldiers under my authority. I tell them, go, they go. I tell them, come, they come. So therefore, that was his own power that he was demonstrating before Jesus. So he was trying to tell Jesus that if I have such a power to command men, then you yourself, as a man in authority, you have power also over all principalities. So we do not wrestle again what flesh and blood. So, so there are people that can rest, rest against flesh and blood. But we rest against what? Principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, rulers of, 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 of wickedness in higher places. So I want you to see too, press master. So we do not rest against flesh and blood. So the Roman officer has the power to fight the flesh, had the power to fight the blood. The Roman officer can give order the key. The Roman officer can lock you in jail. But the Roman officer could not cast out the illness. So the power of the of the Roman officer, when you look deeply, you notice that the Roman officer was operating in a power we call the exousia. That is the power to him of influence. Governors use the power, military use the power, but Jesus operated in a power we call the dunamis. So the power that you can heal somebody is called the dunamis power. So that means Jesus has a power, the Roman officer has the power. So now when the two power met together, the Roman officer had to submit under Jesus because Jesus had the supreme power, the power that can cause that, in, that, that infirmity to leave that servant. So now I, I try to explain this demonstration of power so that we can try to, to get what this particular prophetic word meant to somebody. So now listen to me, family. So now imagine yourself, 
if this man that made a bad decision about you is your manager, maybe your manager took your document and put a signature and said, never, you'll never work again in this company. Maybe a minister blacklists your name just because of some personal issue he had with your uncle, your father, or with your sister. Just imagine somebody in authority just because they ask you how something happened. I don't care to know. Just assume yourself. Assume something happened. Just put yourself in assuming anything that that particular thing happened. Then your name was blacklisted. A bad decision was taken about, about you. One, it was taken about you. That means the decision was taken by a man. When God lifts up a man, nobody can bring you down. So if a man made a decision about you, against you, so another man can still change the decision. Pharaoh, forget about Pharaoh, let's go to Herod. Herod hit his hand on the chest and said, no king would detrude me. God told him, Shege, that is a taboo. I am the God that gives life. I will deal with you. I know heaven belongs to the, to the Lord, but this world be, belongs to, to the Son of Man, but I will deal with you. So God is the one that placed anybody in, in any area. So if a man has made a bad decision about you, against you, forget. God has not spoken. The Bible says, who is that one that speaks a word upon your life and it come to pass when your God has not spoken? So your God is the one, is the greatest man in authority. So if he has not spoken, do not listen to the word of the man. If a man made a decree in any altar that you will not get a job, that you will not live to see tomorrow, listen to me, you need to run to the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Judges, three nations gang up against Jehoshaphat. They made up their mind. They agreed they were already coming for war. Jehoshaphat, they didn't tell him prepared. Somebody told Jehoshaphat they are coming already. Jehoshaphat said, wait, it's their decision. Let me go and hear the decision of my God. Those men of authority, they made the decision. Their soldiers are coming. The, Jehoshaphat went to the Lord and said, Father, what is your own decision concerning me? The Lord said, wait. I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest. I am the one that gives strength. The Lord sent a confusion between these three enemies, these three nations. They fought among themselves and they killed themselves. Look at how God saved and delivered Jehoshaphat. Child of God, listen to me. Praise Master Jesus. It does not matter who made that decision about you or against you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Any bad decision, as they made that decree, that that decision in their office of, of or anywhere that over their dead body, so shall it be over their dead body in the name of Jesus. Because you save the God, the God, our God is a consuming fire. I declare and I decree, any bad decision against you, may it return back to sender for in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Your promotion is knocking your door. Congratulations to somebody. Somebody type it at the comment section. Congratulations to my deliverance because you are delivered. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.